Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on ArmorGames.com. This is another Flash game. This one is called Sushi Cat Apult, and this is from the Sushi Cat series that I've played before, and I really, really loved it. They were cute little, like, drop games, like pachinko-style games, except this game is a launcher game, sort of like Learn to Fly, those types of games, where you just sort of launch Sushi Cat into a whole bunch of sushi, and it's a Adorable. I've never played this, but I'm very excited because I really like the other Sushi Cat games. So let's go ahead, let's get started. You guys don't really need to know much of the story, it's just gonna explain that Sushi Cat loves sushi. Shishimi Gardens, 20 kilometers outside Tokyo. Oh, how cute, I love- he's holding his baby! Ah, there's like couples everywhere, turtle couple, bear couple, happy sun in the background. Race to the moon. I just love how he moves, it's so funny. Race to the moon, grand prize, sushi, a lifetime supply. Oh, sushi cat like that one. <laughs> I love that everything in this universe has cute little like kawaii faces. It's adorable. All right, cool. So here's our typical map that we have in all of the sushi cat games, except now we're gonna have different type of gameplay. So let's go ahead and click play. Instruction sushi cat has a new sushi cat uphold. Click anywhere to set power. Okay, grandpa bunny guy, sure. Oh, okay, so here we go. It's like a standard launcher game uh, bar. Boom, ah, perfect shot, awesome. Uh, collect sushi to charge your bounce meter. Click anywhere to bounce, okay. Uh, clicked, oh, whoa, I bounced. I thought that was like a trap. Those are like spider webs, I guess. And instead of being sticky spider webs, they're like a catapult. That's cute. All right, so that bounced me. Uh-oh, I'm losing momentum. Damn it, objective failed. Oh, that's no good. So I had to collect 75 sushi, I only got 59. All right, that's fine. Let's retry. Let's get that 75 sushi this time. Oh, I missed the perfect shot. That's okay. Oh, oh no, I hit some water. Uh, bounce, quick, bounce. Yeah, okay, I bounced and I got more momentum. Not a lot though, really not a lot. Not doing too hot here. Damn it, objective failed again. Have you visited my shop? I sell all kinds of upgrades. Click shop button to visit. Uh, sure, let's do that. All right, so we have 300 coins, and that's the only thing we can buy. What is this? Bounces. Get an extra bounce meter, bounce more. Oh, yeah, that sounds really useful. Okay, so level two bounces, that's good. We'll get that right away. And then we're going to go ahead and try this again. This is uh, really cute. I love this a lot. I love. Oh, no, right in the water off the bat. Whoa, sake milkshake, low gravity. Sushi cat, you shouldn't be drinking. You silly rapscallion. All right, use our second bounce. That was really helpful. Oh, and objective complete, and I have another bounce because I collected so much sushi, nice. So what's going on now? Four seconds, oh, the run ends. And I can press space to end it prematurely. Why would I Why would I ever end it ahead of time if I'm still collecting sushi and getting coins? Whatever, all right, so we got 100 coins out of that and then 39 extra ones. Total coins, 341. Can I buy anything else? No, I can't even afford anything else. All right, that's fine. So now I have an objective of travel 150 meters. I love these types of games because in them what happens is you get these little objectives and you just keep doing it over and over again until you meet the objective. That's really cool, I like that a lot. Ah, perfect shot. It makes it just like really quick and fun and it's easy to just like get lost playing these types of games. Hurricane Sushi, nice! That's just like in the other uh, Sushi Cat games where you get like a whole bunch of sushi like warped to you. Whoa, holy crap! That spider web really launched me. Oh, oh no, right into the water though. That wasn't good. All right, what's that thing? It's like a little shrine. Okay, that's fine. Still getting sushi though. 50 meters, 49 to go, crap. I, I could have hit that sumo in the belly and launched way into the sky, I think. All right, we have 571 coins though. That's enough to buy something. So what's this? Delicious bird seed to increase the number of birds on a level. Ah, cool. All right, so I'm assuming the birds are a good thing. Like if I hit them, I'll probably go farther or something. Slow down the aimer to make better launches easier. Okay, that's kind of useful. Charge bounce faster, ooh, bouncy beans, I like those. Catapult, fire sushi cat farther with a better catapult. I like that one too, that one sounds really good. And then help protect sushi cat from pesky spikes. Oh no, I don't wanna launch sushi cat in the spikes, that sounds painful and horrible. All right, let's get the cat a pult. I love these games, they're so adorable. The sushi cat games are really, really great. All right, we're gonna get the better catapult so that we can shoot even farther, because that's our goal. Bam, perfect shot, nice. All right, bam, oh, I did hit a bird. Oh, I hit another bird, and I'm going like a lot farther because I'm bouncing off of them. Bam, oh, that guy helped me a lot. Right over the water too, that's good. All right, oh yeah, I should be using my bounces. Oops, forgot about those. Oh, 
Bounce off that Sumo's Belly. Bounce off another Sumo's Belly. Getting real, real high stats there. Good, good, good. Good bounces. Boom. That mushroom launched me too. I had a feeling it would. And four, three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. We got it. We got it. Okay. And then we got another. Oh, I bounced right into the water. No. No. Don't. Okay. Sake milkshake gives me that low gravity. Keeping me going a little bit longer. Grab a couple more sushis. I love that he just like flies off the screen too. That's so funny. It's so cute. All right, 424 coins. I don't know if that's enough to buy. Nah, it's not enough to buy anything yet. Crap. All right, well, we'll just do another mission then. So collect 200 sushi. But yeah, like I was saying, these are the types of games that are like, they're really quick and they're fun. Uh, Maneki Neko, Maneki Neko, like from the other games, double sushi. Okay, oh, those are the spikes. Oh God, they're like bamboo spikes. And those two, ow, oh no. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I hurt you so much, Sushi Cat. Oh, we got another Maneki Neko though, that's good. All right, and we got another bounce ready. Kaboom, right on the mushroom. Damn, there's, so there's like a little bit of strategy in this one. Uh, that's not always the case with these launcher games, but all launcher games have in common the fact that they're just like really fun and quick games. Like you can just sort of like play them very, very quickly in on like a break or something. And you can have a sense of progress by playing them because the missions are so quick and they're, it just like, I don't know, it's really fun. I love these types of games a lot. So let's go ahead, let's buy, let's buy those bouncy beans. Wait, what's this? Super friends, a friend helps you out when you are down. Wait, what? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that though. Super friends, it's like a dog and a penguin. Oh, that's so cute. Is the penguin the learn to fly penguin? Maybe, maybe that's his cameo. Another perfect launch here, guys. Bam, hitting some birds. I'm so sorry, birdies. I don't mean to hurt you. That's okay, I landed in the water as karma. No, spikes, ow, no. Oh, that makes you like lose all your sushi. That sucks, I don't like that. All right, come on. Yeah, low gravity. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, so that was my super friend was, was Grandpa Bunny it just headbutted me in the ass and is sending me on my way. Oh God, that helped out a lot. So I'm assuming that's only like once per level. Ha! Oh man, that was close. I, I thought I was gonna hit the mushroom, but I didn't. No, stop falling in the water. Stop hitting, oh, that's a gate in the way. Oh, the water actually launched me though. Oh, oh no, I lost all my sushi though. Oh no, I want all my sushi back. Give me the sushi. I don't care that I got the objective. Ah, crap, that's not very good. We're not gonna get many coins from that then. That's okay though, we got 500, so we should be able to buy something. Let's buy more bird seed, cause that's really good. That's cool to have all those birds flying around. Oh, and we got a cutscene. I didn't realize that we were actually making progress. Kami Beach, 15 kilometers outside Tokyo. Oh, so we have to get to Tokyo, and then I bet we race to the moon. Oh, that's so funny. I love that this, like all these games have like little stories and that's the best part about Sushi Cat is it's just like these adorable, silly little stories. Hey, you abducted my kid? Are you kidding me? You piece of shit. You can't steal a kid. Oh, Sushi Cat's mad AF. All right, well, we also have a ad popping up here. I didn't know what was going on there for a second. I thought that was part of the game, but uh, fuck you ad. No, go away, eat a big ass. All right, so we're gonna go rescue our kid. <laughs> uh, and uh, like, why would that happen? Why would our cat be abducted or our child be abducted? That's so annoying, stupid ass seagull. All right, so the water from what I'm understanding isn't like the worst thing to hit because it kind of launches you forward. Ooh, that was good, good hurricane sushi. What about the, oh, oh, the sandcastles are bad. You don't want to touch those. What about that little octopus guy? Oh yeah, thanks for the launch, dude. Off your big bulbous head. And I got another bounce from it. Nice, okay. Still moving forward. Oh, hit, hit that, hit that. That looks like a catapult thing. But the water uh, out of any of the hazards doesn't seem like it's the worst one. Oh, grandpa, thank you so much, grandpa bunny. All right, bam, use another bounce. Still going, keeping it going. We still got 100 meters to go though, guys. Oh, and a lot of spikes. No, don't make me lose all my sushi, you piece of shit. Oh, oh, oh. damn it, I hate you. You're the worst seashell in the whole world. So it doesn't make you lose like every piece of sushi. So it's not like a sonic effect where like all your sushi goes out. You just lose some of it. Cause I still had 149 at the end of that run there. Just not enough to buy anything, which sucks. So another 250 meters to go. Let's bam. Ah, there we go. Perfect launch that time. Uh, hurricane, yeah, hurricane sushi. So we got all that sushi. Let's uh, angle that, bam, hit the octopus in the head. <laughs> he gets kind of dizzy when you hit him. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what that power up was that I just passed, but it looked like a bowl of rice or something. Whoa, whoa, that guy's uh, grumpy looking. Grumpy face man. 
No, you got in the way of everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting that Grandpa Bunny's gonna come and help me out, though. So that's good. All right, so bouncing. Oh, what's that? It's a poop. What's that? That's a poop. A wasabi boost. Okay, so it's not a poop. Um, thank you for the wasabi boost. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're wasabi, not poop. But, oh, that's so funny. Okay, so uh, bouncing along. Hit the octopus. Good. Oh, almost got another wasabi boost. Uh, they really do look a lot like poops, though. All right, did that so that we got over those spikes. Hit that, okay. Mini umbrellas really launch you far. We gotta hit more of those. One meter left, heck yeah. Come on, come on, yeah, we did it. Ah, yeah, awesome. Good job, us. And 800, 870 sushis. Okay, so that's enough to buy the sushi magnet, which draws sushi towards me, so you can nom 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 them. <laughs> uh, we can slow down our power meter, we can get protection from spikes, or we can charge our meter. Um, let's charge our, no, actually, let's get a third bounce. That sounds really useful, because that just, instead of having to charge the bounces then, we just have a, a third bounce right off the bat. So let's go ahead, let's, kaboom launch us into space but not space yet we got to get to the space mission which uh i don't know if we're gonna get there this episode sushi cat because you're still on the ground you're still 15 kilometers outside of tokyo and a seagull stole your baby i can how, how can you let this happen i mean to be fair that's it's his fault for being a jerk but horrible 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 stuff ah yeah mini umbrellas helping out quite a bit uh oh there goes grandpa see you later grandpa bunny and then we're flying through the air. 200 sushi left. Damn, this is going to take a while. But, oh, no, 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 water. That time you did the opposite thing that you normally do. You slowed me down too much, man. All right. But at least it doesn't bring you to, like, a dead halt, which is good. And we're collecting enough sushi to boost up our, uh, our bounces really well here. So, boom. Oh, and a trampoline. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, no. Okay. Launched off the water, so that was good. Look how big we're getting, by the way. Holy crap, there's so much sushi in our bellies. And there we go, we got that objective still. Very good. Oh, I just realized I had a bounce left. I could have gotten even more sushi. That's okay, that is fine. There's new stuff in the shop, it says. Let's check this another time here. And uh, we got beans. We got the magnet. You know what? I kind of want the magnet, but uh, the beans are way more useful. And then that leaves us with enough coins that just one more run should allow us to get the power meter or the shield there. So let's do 450 meters this time. Bam! Perfect launch. See, I don't even need the power meter slow down because like once you get the timing down, it's really, really easy to, uh, to nail it or at least get very close to it and get like a really good bounce. So here we go. Let's bounce before the water. Yep. All right. Mini umbrellas. Heck yeah. There's mini umbrellas every time. Oh boy, oh, that was close. Mini umbrellas again. Man, if you get a good bounce on top of one of the things that launches you, you just go flying. It's awesome, oh God. Why Why is that super spiky evil shell so happy? What a piece of shit. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Should have been paying attention. No, oh yeah, hit that trampoline. Hit that trampoline. Unlimited bounces, oh shit, dude, and a wasabi boost. Unlimited bounces sounds good. Oh wait, did the wasabi boost cancel out my unlimited bounces? That's fine, because we, we still got a lot of air time. We got going, we're moving fast. Oh no, no, no. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. We didn't even use Grandpa Bunny yet, so it's all good. Bounce off that octopus's head. And then, oh yeah. Keep me going, birdies, yeah. Wow, we are huge. We are a real big cat, and we are killing a lot of birds. And not getting a lot of sushi. We need more sushi. Okay, bounce. Bam. Hopefully we get enough sushi to get us those 25 meters. Oh, or that's gonna happen. Mini umbrella and a bunch of birds. Helping me out here, good stuff. Collect more sushi before the timer runs out. Got seven seconds. Seven. Oh, wasabi boost me. Yeah, heck yeah, bro. And then, oh, grab a whole bunch right before the end there. Good stuff. Good stuff. I love this game. It's so cute and it's so easy and casual to play. You can just pick it up and you can just play it. So that's awesome. So we have enough money that we can like actually get a better catapult, which is probably the best thing to get here. But I think I'm actually going to end this video here, guys. I don't know if I'm going to play any more of this, but it's definitely the type of game that you can just sit down and play. You don't need to master any crazy skills to play it. It's just something that's fun to waste time. And that's how games should be. They're called games for a reason. And this game definitely is the same as the other other sushi cat games and that it encompasses that idea of fun but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe
subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sir, please.